According to a study in psychology today, as many as 40% of Americans collect things like trading cards, coins, or comic books. Yeah, and if you own a car, you already have two items that a Portland man's been collecting all his life. Tony has more in today's Behind the Wheel. You never have everything. There's always something else that you want here. That may be hard to believe when you consider that Keith Stone has already collected thousands of license plates. I've seen people making birdhouses out of them. I go, no, no, no. Make them out of this one, not this one. The sky is, is brown and the tree is very light green. Uh, very, uh, very controversial because people say the sky in Oregon is not brown, it's blue. So they came back three years later and went to a blue plate and a darker green. Spotting rare and unusual plates is second nature to Keith, who's been around this collection since he was a boy. My dad had about 7,000. They were always hanging in the garage. Keith's collection has taken over his basement. Categorized by date and state, most of it is in boxes. What you see here are just a few of his favorites. I'm into more of the different kind of plates, the different things that are on the plates. I always like this plate, and they're very hard to get. And then in 48, the one with the uh, potato with the, you can actually see butter on it. That's an original decal uh, on that plate in very good condition. The oldest plates here go back to the turn of the century, but they all reflect an aspect of the year they were issued, like this plate from 1944, made of paper. Because of the uh, the war, there was a uh, metal shortage, and they this is the easiest way to do it. Some of these plates are worth thousands of dollars, but Keith collects for fun, not money. Just like his dad, Lewis, who by all accounts was a bit of a fanatic. This one plate, he bought the car because of the plate, the AAA. <laughs> He bought an old Pontiac station wagon. My mom couldn't believe it, but he brought the car home because of the license plates. When he got you interested in it, then he really thought that was special because he thought, oh, and you joined the club, the national club, and that was a big deal, and, and go with them to the events. In case you're wondering, the future of this collection is in good hands. My granddaughter went to good. She was having a bunch of kids, you know, like eight years old, and they're opening their gifts up, and she gets a license plate. I think she was more excited about the license plate than she was the toys. <laughs> so what began in the past as one man's hobby is moving into the future as a family tradition. I think he really in, would enjoy to see that we still are into this, and maybe not as much as he was, but uh, we all have lives. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Martinez, Fox 12, Oregon. What I love about this is that it's about the collection, but it's also about Keith's connection to his dad yeah. when he was a boy. The family aspect. And about, now, now Keith's yeah. connection to his grandkids. It I gives them a way thing. to just like do something mm -hmm. together yes. and a way to sort of be together. So that's kind of a special part of that story for me. And I love just the history that yeah. you find in yeah. those plates. They all tell a story. It's really yeah. cool. And, and how stuff was a lot cooler then than what yeah. we had. <laughs> that <laughs> Alaska, it's, or that, it's, yeah. it's a Canadian plate yeah. shaped like a bear. So I mean, there really cool. is some yeah. cool yeah. stuff I want one of those. Those were the days, yeah. <laughs> but you've all already got two, so you're all well on your way. <laughs> uh, let's go.